I also want to address a heartbreaking development in the tragic loss of Next Benedict. For parents across the country, and I know for many of you here and some of you watching, many of you watching, including myself, the cause of Next death was devastating to learn. As the president said yesterday, every young person deserves to have the fundamental right and freedom to be who they are and feel safe and supported at school and in their communities. Bullying is completely unacceptable, and it is, an all, it is on all of us to take reports of bullying seriously. There is always someone you can talk to if you're going through a hard time and need support. The president and his administration launched a 988 line to help, and we have a line dedicated to serving LGBTQI plus young people that can be reached by dialing 988 and pressing three. I want to close by saying that LGBTQI plus young people across the country, you are loved exactly as you are, as the president has made very clear. And you should know this, the Biden administration, Biden Harris administration has your back. The recent statement by WH press secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, suggesting that next Benedict's demise resulted from bullying due to being transgender exemplifies the intricate intertwining of societal discourse on gender identity and harassment within a particular ideological construct. Actions taken by the Biden administration, such as establishing a specialized support hotline for LGBTQ youth, signify a larger trend towards progressive initiatives aimed at addressing social issues pertaining to gender identity and sexual orientation. The ongoing debate between safeguarding individual liberties and promoting ideological agendas warrants scrutiny in discussions surrounding bullying and LGBTQ rights. Moreover, delving into the psychological ramifications of framing instances of bullying within the realm of identity politics and victim narratives is imperative. In truth, bullying transcends demographic boundaries such as age, gender, and disability. Persisting within communities, and schools indiscriminately. Singularly labeling certain individuals as transgender does little to address the overarching issue of pervasive harassment. Rather, it underscores governmental inadequacies in addressing diverse forms of mistreatment. From my perspective, governmental actions appear biased, perpetuating the politicization of matters related to gender identity and bullying. Hence, there arises a necessity for a nuanced approach that reconciles individual liberties with broader societal interests.